Hi guys, welcome back to In Case of Econ Struggles, and welcome to another Exporting Results Struggle. Today we're still talking about making summary statistics tables. This time we're going to talk about grouped variable tables. Grouped variable tables are super useful if you have a lot of variables that you want to show in terms of their summary statistics, and you sort of want to group them together so that the reader can easily look at a bunch of variables at once that are all sort of related. So here's an example table where you can see from this auto data set Maybe I've got two main categories of variables. I've got general variables and I've got technical variables. And so I want the reader to sort of group these variables in general together and these variables in technical together. We get a nice looking table like this where we have the name of the category up top and then sort of indented variable labels for both categories. And then it, once again, we're controlling the number of decimal points. So let's get right into talking about how we can make this table in Stata. So as usual, the code for this table is posted in the video description, but let's get right into it by sort of making sure that everything in Stata is clear and we'll go ahead and reread in this data set. And notice that we're not doing any sort of by group in this estimation, so I don't need any sort of by or if statements in the est post tab stat command. So we'll just run these lines and now you can see we've got everything ready and we've got this in the order we want this in, and we know that we want price, miles per gallon, and rep to be in one category, and weight, length, turn, and gear ratio to be in the other category. Everything that we need in order to make these two categories, we're gonna do in our STAB command. Once again, our STAB command just keeps getting longer, but with this delimit trick, we are able to just make every option on a new line. That's gonna make it much easier not only to read, but also to edit later for you. Remember that this hashtag delimit semicolon is telling Stata, hey Stata, even if you see a new line, it's not a new command yet. Wait until you see the semicolon before you think the command is done. Again, really useful, and I use this trick all the time. Looking down this code, we see it looks very similar to what we've seen before. The cells command is exactly what we've been working with for our summary statistics, except for that summary statistics by group. The main difference starts with this refcat command right in here. So refcat, this is what's going to make the two categories, and let's go through it. So notice we're going to start at price. Price starts the first category. The category name is emphasis on general. This is the name of the category. This emphasis makes it italicized in the table. Then we're going to go to weight. Notice that with weight, I'm writing LaTeX code directly in my status statement here. So this says V space 0.5 centimeters, new line then italicize the word technical, no label. This right here is gonna tell LaTeX to skip a vertical space to make a vertical space and then start a new category with technical at the variable weight. That's exactly what we saw in Overleaf and that's exactly what we want. The other question you might have is how do we get that nice indentation in our variables for each category? Well, in the COEF labels, I added slash eight space 0.25 centimeters to each one of these. Again, Stata is gonna write this to a tech file so we can write LaTeX code wherever we want in these sort of quotes because it's just gonna pass it directly into LaTeX. So for each one of these labels before the actual label I want, I'm gonna say slash H base 0.25 centimeters. This brings up a sort of point where I sort of disagree with the Stata guide because the Stata guide tells you to just label these in Stata before you run this. However, if you're gonna run other tables, you definitely don't want this H space hanging around in all your labels. So I'm just gonna do my H space right here when I relabel each variable and I think it's a little cleaner. So I'm just gonna run all this together just to make sure it works. So we'll go ahead, we'll click into this tech file just to take a little look. And you can see that for these labels, we've got the H space exactly where we want it. We've got the vertical space and the new line right here because again, Stata is just passing that directly to the LaTeX output. And so we're all ready to go and put that into Overleaf and get that exact nice table that we just saw. So hopefully this gives you a better idea of how to make some pretty tables with variable categories. If this was helpful, make sure to like and subscribe, and we will see you next time for another case of Econ Struggles.